Hi, this is Richard Carpenter with Ultra Steam Professional Cleaning and Restoration Services and I'm coming to you today live from a water damage job we're doing to give you a video case study of how we take care of water damage cleaning. So the first thing we're going to do is survey the water damage and we have a number of specialized tools we use to do that including the latest in infrared thermography detection equipment that will show us where the water is in the walls and the carpet. You can see the blue the blue is where it's wet because the evaporation of the water cools the materials that are wet so that you can see what the temperature is of them and that in turn tells us where we're going to put our uh, moisture meters to verify how moist the materials are. So then we take our moisture meter which shows us the actual moisture content in the wall, how wet, uh, how wet it is how far up. You can see this is wet about a foot up the wall. And to do the carpet, we use the penetrating probes to show us that the carpet and pad are in fact wet and what areas they're wet in. So after surveying the job and coming up with a drying plan, the next step is thorough water extraction. This step is one of the most important because you can remove up to 95% of the water before you even begin drying. And the more water you remove through extraction, the less days the equipment has to be in the house to dry the materials. Here we're removing water from the carpet using our subsurface extraction tool. This tool removes the water from the pad under the carpet, draws it up into the carpet and removes much of the water in the carpet as well. And then once we've done extracting the water from the pad, then we'll use the light wand to remove the remaining water from the carpet face fiber. So after we've finished removing the remaining water from the face fiber of the carpet with the wand, we'll be ready to start removing baseboards and begin the drying process. Okay, so we've got all of the baseboards off and the equipment set up for drying. And as you can see, it's pretty loud in here. The noise is a necessary side effect, though, and tomorrow morning we'll see how the drying is progressing. So we're back at this house. It's had, on its second day of drying, it's had not quite two full days of drying. So let's go inside and see how the moisture levels are doing. You can see the carpet and pad is drying very quickly. In just two days, we've gone from completely saturated to nearly dry here in the living room. Our walls are doing really well also. We've gone in just two days from a saturated drywall at 99.9 .9 reading to only like a 3.9, which is a good baseline level on these walls. Our carpet and drywall are doing well, but we're going to check the sill plates also. That's the structural wood beneath the drywall, and it's important that that be dried also. You can see here, we still have some pretty good moisture in that sill plate. It should be down around 11 or 12 percent, and I'll explain more about that in just a moment. So on checking the sill plates, a less experienced restorer might have been completely satisfied with the fact that the walls and carpet were dry and gone ahead and removed all of the equipment. But it's important to make sure that the structural wood underneath the walls is dry as well to avoid having mold or microbial growth issues down the road. So we were able to remove five air movers and a dehumidifier, thus saving the client money while maintaining a balanced drying environment. And by tomorrow, we should have everything completely dry that's what we're expecting, but we're going to check it to make certain before we take anything out. So here we are with three full days of drying on this house, and we're going to go inside now and check the sill plates and make sure that everything is completely dry. So we're taking our sill plate readings here in the hall, and you can see that we've gone from being up near 20% the other day down to 9 now. The moisture level needs to be below 16 in the structural wood so that you don't have mold or microbial growth problems. And this is the difference between an inexperienced restorer who's just focused on drying out the carpet and an experienced restorer who knows that the structure needs to be dried completely, including the wood and drywall, to prevent more problems for you down the road. 
So we're all wrapped up on this job. We have the carpet, pads, subfloor, walls, and the structural wood dry all in three days without the hassle and expense of removing the carpet and pad or cutting out large sections of drywall. And um, all done with our famous care and attention to detail. Obviously I couldn't show you everything in five minutes that we did on this job, but hopefully I gave you a good overview of our service and results and what goes into doing one of these. If you need water damage restoration, sewage restoration, or mold remediation, you can call us 24-7 at 970-385-8444 or call my cell at 759-2395 and we will respond immediately to begin cleanup for you. Or visit us on the web at ultrasteamcleaning.com and learn what you need to do, the steps you need to take immediately if you have a water damage. Thank you so much for your time and kind attention and have a great day.